Hi guys, my name is Kirtan and welcome to my channel Physiology at Once. Today I will be discussing about the topic destruction of red blood cells. So let's start. Mechanism of RBC destructions. RBC destructs in intravascular or extravascular. The causes of intravascular destruction of RBC are Membrane of older cells become rigid due to which the lysis of RBCs become easier. Defect in membrane. We can take an example of the case of paroxysmal nocturnal hemoglobinuria in which holes appear in the cell membrane of the RBCs which causes easy degradation of the RBCs inside the vascul vascular system. It is also common in cardiac valve hemolysis and microangiopathic hemolytic anemia. Talking about the extravascular causes, macrophages ingest the older red cells. Two changes occur in old red cells decreased deformability and alteration in surface properties. Deformability is nothing but the ability of the RBC to change its shape according to the size of the vessels. The surface properties are influenced by the immunoglobulins present in the blood. So let's talk about some facts. Average lifespan of normal red cells is 120 days. Old red cells are degraded in the macrophages of liver and spleen. Now let's talk about the fate of destroyed cells. It can also be divided into extravascular hemolysis and intravascular hemolysis. Talking about ex extravascular hemolysis, when the RBCs are destroyed in the macrophages of liver and spleen, it divides into heme and globin. Globin goes to the amino acid pool. Heme is further divided into bilirubin and iron. Iron goes to the iron stores in the body and bilirubin goes to the blood and becomes unconjugated blood bilirubin. This unconjugated bilirubin goes to the liver and gets conjugated from the process of conjugation. The conjugated bilirubin further goes down to the intestine and converts into urobilinogen, urinary urobilinogen and stercobilinogen. Some amount of urobilinogen is again reabsorbed into the liver. The serum unconjugated bilirubin is increased, stercobilinogen is also increased, urobilinogen also increased. Iron stores in the bone marrow is also increased and splenomegaly occurs due to the destroyment of RBCs in the spleen. Talking about intravascular hemolysis, when the RBCs are destroyed inside the vascular vessels, the hemoglobin escapes into the blood and forms a relationship with haptoglobin. Haptoglobin is a protein in the blood which binds with the hemoglobin and makes it go to the liver. When the hemolysis is more, the hemoglobin is increased in the blood and it escapes into the kidney causing deficiency of hemoglobin in the body also called as hemoglobinemia and some amount of hemoglobin also escapes into the urine causing hemoglobinuria. I have written the same thing in this page also. Only, only thing to note here is the bilirubin is converted into urobilinogen due to the bacterial reduction present in the intestine. The stercobilinogen gives the color of the stool and the Hb haptoglobin complex which is formed in the blood is converted into iron and bilirubin due to the enzyme heme oxygenase in the liver. This is a clinical significance. When there is decrease of haptoglobin in the blood, it signifies that the increase of hemolysis is occurred in the body. Let's talk about some facts. Healthy liver can handle up to 6 times its normal concentration of bile. However, this is not seen in newborns which leads to hemolytic jaundice and kernic terrors. Kernic terrors is nothing but the escape of bile into the blood brain barrier and it goes to the brain causing mental disorders. Now talking about hemolytic jaundice. First of all this topic is very important. In hemolytic jaundice. There is increased destruction of RBCs in the marrow. Due to this, the bilirubin is increased in the blood. Hemolytic jaundice is also called acoloric jaundice because bile in this case does not escape into the urine. Though urinary, bilir urinary urobilinogen is seen in the urine and stercobilinogen is increased in the stools. That's it for today. Thank you guys and please subscribe, like, share if you like this video. Thank you.